Hey guys, this is Alexander from All Security Equipment, and today I'm introducing our newest addition to the All Security Equipment product lineup, which is the Barrier Arm with Light. So the cool thing about our arm is that we try to make it as simple and as efficient as possible. So the lights are industrial grade LEDs. They are encased in an aluminum sleeve that is rated IP67, which means that it's as waterproof as you can get. Um, you can add the, we have two channels on the arm, so you can add the light on the top and the bottom. You can do just one light. You can use our bumper system, which is a 17 foot silicone sleeve that you cut to size. So whatever size you want to do, you just put it at the bottom. Very, very easy. It pops in and out of the arm. Super easy to install. As you can see, just take it out, put it back in. Very easy. And then to change the mode, it's even easier. It's called plug and play. So you just slide the, co the control here. You, we have a little button here. And then we have static red, blinking red. Then we have static red and green. So if I press on the button, when it reaches the top, it's going to turn green. And then as soon as we click it back, back to red, we have the same mode blinking red and green and then we have the mode off and we did that so if there is if you lose power the barrier arm will come back lit up in red static which is the first mode and the default mode so this this 12 foot arm comes in two pieces that are in a box and shippable by ups same thing with our 17 foot version that comes in three pieces and can also be shipped by ups very easy, as you can see, the assembly is almost seamless. No screws are apparent, and it's literally plug and play. As soon as you plug it in, it works. There is no adjustment to do other than the arm, uh, other than the arm, which you have to do anyways. And so the great thing about this this arm is that our goal is to make it as universal and efficient as possible. So it is primarily designed for the Mega Tower and Mega Arm of LiftMaster. However, we developed a universal bracket to make it compatible with Dorking, BFT, and High Security Strong Arm Park. For FAC, it's even easier. There is just a sticker that shows you where to cut the, the arm to just attach it to the B680H. So as I said, this arm is very simple, very easy to put together, and I'm going to show you right now how to assemble this arm on the Mega Tower. All right, so I'm going to show you how to install this arm in the easiest way possible. So in the box, you is going to come with, for the 12 foot, two pieces. The sleeve is already pre-assembled. You're going to get a little pouch with four screws and Allen key, and you're going to receive a grease packet to make sure that you can lube the uh, the interior of here and the 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 bracket here okay the sleeve um, so we give that lube because it allows you to take it in to take it in and out easily to basically put it together and then if you need to remove it you can do it you can also use wd-40 However, WD-40, when it dries, is going to leave a little film, which is going to make it harder to take it out. If you're not planning on taking it out, you can just like douse it with WD-40 and the assembly will be very, very easy. So once you've added the first part of the bracket of the, the, the arm to the gate operator, 
it's going to make it super easy and one person job. So you want to make sure that you put, you apply grease all over, which I already did, all over the connector here and then inside here to ensure uh, ease of assembly. So once you have, once you added the grease on the connector and in the piece, in the, the main piece, you can get a piece of paper, gloves, pliers, whatever you want to connect the two pieces and not get your hands dirty. You have to apply a little bit of pressure here. And just like that, it's assembled. You then have, as you can see, it's pretty tight. And then you just have to put the little screws here. One and two for a very nice and hidden look. So no screws are showing when the arm is assembled. All right, and now that the arm is assembled, you can wipe it down if you have any extra grease on it and it's ready to be used. So you can use it either like that or with all of the accessories. So now it's time to install the light. So with the light, what you want to do is make sure you go first with the end so you can insert the plastic tab under the cap and make sure it's a perfect fit. And then all you have to do is really just clip it in very easy. Just do it bits by bits. And then we're gonna get back. So first we give it, we install the length and then we'll adjust it for the finish. And because it's a silicone sleeve, it's extremely resistant to heat and extreme cold. Since it's the same material that you would use for baking. So it can literally bake in the sun and not have any issues. The LEDs are industrial grade LEDs. Okay, and now everything is clipped in. So now we finish. Just make sure that it's nice and well set into the channel. And as you saw in the video, I'm a regular guy just by myself installing the 12 foot arm with no problem. And the secret to really, to an easy assembly is putting enough lubricant on the connector. And then once this is assembled, you can take a wet cloth or just a hose and just hose it down to clean it up in case there is any dirt. Since it's rated IP67, which means it's the closest thing to waterproof you can do. Now that the LED light is assembled, we're going to do the electrical connection. So what you want to do is bring, is bring the wire under the bracket, make it come out of the bracket, and then wherever you want, you can drill a hole to pass this, the power supply that comes with the LED light comes with a little grommet right here. So once you drill the hole, you can close the cabinet with the uh, plastic grommet. And then you just connect the two inside the cabinet, of course, and the light turns on. And so once the light is on and ready to use, you have here the controller with a little slider and then you can choose the mode that your client wants.
So red and green, red, red blinking. And then remember that the default mode is red. So in case of a power outage, light turns off, machine turns off, and when the power comes back on, it's gonna be static red only. We also sell a bumper that you can attach at the, at the bottom. Bumper is only one size. It's, you just cut it to the size that you need. So we're not gonna cut it, but it comes in a 17 foot length. So this is a 12 foot arm. So basically you just put it under like this all the way. And then when you reach the end, just take a pair of scissors, a knife, whatever you want, and literally just cut it like this. And the bumper is ready to go. And because of its open, pattern if it rains or anything it can drain automatically and so this bumper is a little harder and thicker than the light but it's the same material so again you're gonna have a very long lifespan on the light and on the bumper because they are made out of silicone and here i am with our 17 foot version of our arm uh, which comes in three pieces one, two, and three, and all pieces are completely different to make sure that you don't have to look for which piece goes where. Okay, so the most important thing is to make sure, it's to make sure that when you're putting the first piece, you wanna make sure that the holes are on the top, the holes that are gonna to attach to the connector. If you don't, just flip it around and make sure that those holes are here. Because once you connect it, you wanna be able to screw it in. So then, as I said, we are supplying some packets of grease. However, it makes a, a very easy installation to just use the WD-40. So I'm gonna apply some WD-40. Here we go. And then in order to make sure to know which one is which, all you have to check is basically, do we have the logo aligning. So as you can see, it's on the, it's the same way. So it means that this piece goes here. There we go for the first part. And then we just repeat the operation. For the last part. We can take a little cloth, paper, make sure that it's all over. And make sure we have the holes as well. And now that the three sections are complete, we can use the provided screws and Allen key to close it. And you can add the light on the top, bumper at the bottom, light on the top, light at the bottom. And the most important is always to remember to use the counterweight for the 17 foot version that is made especially for this arm. So all you have to do is just remove the cap align the holes and slide in the counterweight, attach it and just close it back in. And here is the assembly of the 17 foot arm from all security equipment. And this was the presentation of the all security equipment barrier arms in 17 and 12 feet here presented with a LiftMaster Mega Tower. Uh, we also have, as I mentioned before, the universal bracket for BFT, door king, and high security. And you have, remember, all of the accessories, the lights, the bumper, the counterweight, all of the products. Links are in the description below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.